Hi guys and welcome back to my channel At Home With Shell. Today I'm going to be sharing my typical morning routine when I'm at work. Working full time and having two children means that I have to be super organised in the morning. So hopefully I can share some useful tips on how I run my mornings. If you do like this video then please give it a thumbs up and if you are new then I would love for you to subscribe. I normally try to be the first one up so I can get on with things and to be honest enjoy a few moments peace to myself. I used to be a really bad snoozer but now as soon as my alarm goes off I just get straight up. The first thing I do when I wake up is give the sink a quick spray with Method Bathroom Spray which has a lovely minty smell and then wipe it around. This takes me around 30 seconds but keeps on top of cleaning and stops the sink getting all grimy. Next I'll jump in the shower and today I also need to give my hair a wash. Once showered I put on some clean pyjamas and open the blinds and windows nice and wide to air the room. So I did actually used to make the bed as soon as I got up but now I just pull the covers back so I can let it air and then make it later on. I then head downstairs to the kitchen, open the blinds again to let some light in and then drink a pint of water. I find that by doing this first thing really hydrates me. I then normally do a very quick morning stretch so I'll mix it up depending on how much time I have whether I do a workout or a stretch um, but just basically something to get my body moving and I just follow a YouTube video for about 5-10 to 10 minutes of a morning stretch and it really helps me start the day nice and awake but also relaxed. My daughter normally wakes up now and will sometimes join me stretching but today her dad has just got her breakfast. So Arabella is a big girl and she wanted to sit on her own little desk, didn't you? Do you sit on your own little table and eat your breakfast? Yeah. What have you got today? Rice Krispies. <gasps> Rice Krispies, yummy, yummy, yummy. So she'll sit and watch this whilst the rest of us can try and get ready. So it takes you ages to eat breakfast, doesn't it? Yeah. So for breakfast today I'm just going to have some porridge. I use these sachets of Quaker oats, so simple, and I really like the golden syrup one. I just have it with some skimmed milk and it's super low in calories too. I think it's about 220 calories um, with the milk as well. And if you're following Slimming World then it would be your healthy B and then the milk would obviously be your healthy A. These are so handy because it's all measured out for you. I don't need to worry about measurements or going over on portion size or anything like that. Yeah, I'm just super handy. So then you just microwave that for around two minutes. I'll then just have some blueberries in the porridge for a really simple breakfast. I have to have a very large cup of coffee every morning and this bean to cup coffee machine is honestly the best thing that I've ever purchased. So every day we all have our vitamins, so Arabella has her special vitamins. Got yours? There you go. Good girl. Then I have my vitamins and tablets as well. Um, I actually started doing this after holiday because I found it saves so much time in the morning. So on a Sunday I'll basically just put in any medication that I take for the week, put it into here and then it's super easy to get out rather than going through several different boxes in the morning, especially this time of year with hay fever tablets and everything else. <laughs> Whilst I'm eating breakfast, I tend to multitask as a lot of mothers do um, and will often do my makeup at the same time whilst also having a little play with Arabella. 
I do often get asked about the products that I use um, makeup wise so I will link them down below if anyone is interested. If you've watched my channel before then you'll know I follow a cleaning schedule where everyone has their jobs and every morning my eldest daughter Tamsin will empty the dishwasher and put away any washing up. After breakfast I'll then reload the dishwasher and give these sides a quick wipe down. Leaving the kitchen tidy in the morning is just so important as the last thing I want after a long day at work is a messy kitchen when I get home and need to cook. Right then, should we do your hair? <coughs> oh, how do you want your hair today? Not you Annabelle, I meant Annabella, how do you want your hair? You have crazy hair in the morning, don't you? So every night before bed I always plan what Arabella and I are going to wear and hang Arabella's on her little hooks in her room. Honestly it saves us so much time in the morning. Um, today's a really nice day so it's nice and simple, just a simple summer dress. Come on then, let's do your teeth. I'm sugar now. Yeah look, sit on my nap on that. Oh, oh. Come on then. Oh you want to do it with Yes. No, let Mama do it first. Ow. You have to get, what do we have to get out? Plaque. All the plaque. Mm. If you don't want plaque, what will the dentist do? They'd have to pull your teeth out, wouldn't they? Did you brush them really well? Yeah. Mum, <gasps> I want you to come with me. Come with you where? And I want you to come with me. Go right over there. Alright then. Show you a sticker. Once teeth are done, I'll then make the bed as it's been airing since we went downstairs. Making the bed makes such a difference to your mindset, honestly. It really does only take a couple of minutes and just sets you up for the day. Say bye bye. Have a good day, I love you. Bye bye. So I'm almost ready now and before I get dressed I'm just going to quickly dry my hair. The last thing I do now is get dressed because I used to get dressed when I first got up but then I find sometimes you end up spilling breakfast down you or getting toothpaste down your top so now it's always the last thing I do before I leave the house. So I'm just going to quickly dry my hair um, and I've been using this um, Revlon Unique One spray. Honestly it's amazing. I just get it from Amazon and it is um, my hair is in so much better condition since I've been using it um, and it's only £10 normally in the salon they sell it in the hairdressers that I go to and it's like £20 in there so honestly for £10 it lasts me ages it's not an ad or anything I honestly just couldn't recommend it enough um, especially if you've got thin quite dry hair it's honestly incredible. So I just need a few spritzes of that and then I'll dry it. So I'm just in my um, daughter Tamsin's room at the moment. <clears throat> I normally dry my hair in here just because that's where the hair dryer and straightener live. So I'm just going to dry it now. it's fairly straight anyway that stuff is amazing for making it straight so I'll literally just straighten it very quickly to keep it nice and smooth um, I always get asked about these straighteners whenever I include them in a vlog um, honestly I've had them 
I've had them about 10 years and they are as good now. Um, I used to always buy J GHDs and I just got so fed up of them. These are incredible. They're a brand called Hato. Um, I think they're from like China or Japan or somewhere. I'm not really sure. Um, but they're honestly amazing and they sell them on Amazon now too. So I will link down below because my daughter's just bought a pair. Um, and honestly, they're for the value, they're the best straighteners I've ever used. So that's it, my hair's done and I'm pretty much ready. I just need to get dressed and then I'm ready to go to work. So like Arabella's clothes, I also get my clothes out the night before. Um, it's something I've always done to be honest because I can't stand the stressing in the morning of wondering what to wear. So I've got a couple of meetings at work today. So I'm just going to wear this shirt that I got from H&M and then I've got some trousers that I am in love with. They're so flattering and comfortable and they are from Zara. I'm almost ready now, just a quick spritz of some perfume. So I'm really liking the um, Black Opium by YSL at the moment. I generally wear this one for work. I think I got it when it was half price from Boots, um, so it was really good value. So that's me more or less ready for my work day now. I just need to put some lipstick on and grab a couple of bits for lunch and then I'm off to work for the day. So I really hope that you've enjoyed a typical working mum morning routine. If you have enjoyed it, then please do give it a thumbs up. And if you are new around here, then I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. Well, thank you as always very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye.